Here's a crack you may come across in your house. We see these a lot. It's a diagonal crack above a doorway. Sometimes they're above a window. Um, diagonal cracks are uh, one of the more concerning cracks that do indicate movement. This wall has moved and caused that tear. Um, this wall sits over the floor joists in the basement. It runs parallel with the floor joists in the basement. It's sitting over top of two floor joists. So due to the weight of this wall, plus any stuff we have against we have against this wall, it's caused those floor joists to deflect downward, causing that tear. Now we're in the basement. We're below the wall that had the crack. That wall is sitting over this floor joist right here. So we're gonna wanna position our post underneath where that crack was to provide support so these floor joists don't deflect anymore and cause that crack to reoccur or get worse. So to put a post down, you're not supposed to just put a, a post base right on the floor because the concrete floor is only three and a half inches, maybe four inches thick. And the weight on that post can actually punch through the floor slab. I've seen that several times. So you're supposed to put a concrete footing in, which entails cutting out the floor. Um, that's very noisy, messy, dusty. Uh, you usually have to rent a saw. Uh, digging out some dirt and then mixing concrete, put some rebar in, uh, filling in, in the hole, and then waiting a day or two for it to cure before you could set your post. So it's very time consuming, noisy, and messy. Um, our solution is we've come up with a plate called an Insta footing where um, you can lay this right on the, the concrete floor. And because of its footprint, and the way the load transfers through the concrete at a 45 degree angle, um, this will prevent that post from punching through the floor, but it essentially spreads that load over a larger area. These come in two sizes, a 12 by 12, which is good for around 9,000 pounds, and a 16 inch by 16 inch, which is good for 12,500 pounds. So once you set this down, you go ahead and you can just bolt this to the floor using any off the shelf uh, concrete connector. So the Insta footing plate can support several different types of posts depending on your need. Uh, if you want to use a steel post, you would place these straps over the base plate of the steel post and simply tighten them up. So I position the Insta footing plate roughly where I want the post to end up. Now I'm going to install the base of the post onto the plate. Simply slide the flange underneath the the yellow strips. It comes with all the hardware you need, pre-threaded holes. You just snug those up. You can also uh, support wood posts by using these uh, angles that are provided with it. They're adjustable. So here is a four x four post in. You would tighten the straps down over the angle plates and then there's holes here for screws or nails to hold the post. Um, you could slide these out to support a six by six post or a built up two by four post or a built up two by six post. So lots of options for the any pretty much any post you wanna use will fit in this plate. Now that I have the plate attached to the base of the post, I'm simply gonna move this post exactly where I want it. Make sure my plate is squared up. And then we'll go ahead and break my mind tightening that up. All right, we got that snugged up good so this floor joist cannot deflect anymore. Put a screw or a nail in here to stop this from getting kicked away. So the final step is to secure the plate to the concrete floor. Uh, they come with pre-drilled holes in the corner. So I just take a masonry bit, drill through the concrete floor, and there's uh, a number of different uh, fastening screws out there. This is just an example. This is a Titan bolt by Simpson. That will can screw right down to the floor. There's also tap cons. Um, so you can really attach it using uh, any screw you want. It's just to stop the post from being kicked away. Um, but that would be your final step is just to secure the base plate to the floor.